This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Kanye West releases a new line. He re-releases the Gap line, um, parts of the Yeezy line, but they're only $20 now. And actually, they took away the heavy shipping. Shipping's like $15, which is pretty normal for shipping. Now, he promised this a long time ago, but he was pricing his stuff so high that it was hard for people to afford them now he's taking the shack method if you don't remember shack release shoes when everybody else was releasing shoes for a hundred dollars two hundred dollar price points he went to walmart and did it for twenty dollars so everybody could afford them um so you can go on yeezy.com and get his latest stuff i don't know if gap's gonna have a problem with that but we'll see Gunna has just released a new song called Bittersweet, talking about close friends like Little Baby going against him because of money and fame. According to American... Uh, well, he didn't expect Little Baby to diss him, no matter how much they fought, because Little Baby uh, is to be who he is today. Now, Gunna did help out Little Baby a lot. And Little Baby actually is less popular than Gunna is right now. Uh... Which is funny, because Gunna came out uh, he put of jail. He took a plea. A lot of people thought they were, you know, were going to cancel him because of that. Because they felt like he was being disloyal to Young Thug. But Little Baby took the stance to go against him. And now Little Baby is less popular than Gunna. Gunna probably had the best album of 2023. Arguably. One of them at least. Top five. Little Baby did not. <laughs> Little Baby was trash. Um, Papoose uh, continues to push TuneCore. He's the head of hip-hop at TuneCore, and he says, believe in yourself, never give up. God is the greatest, as he is. I don't know. Papoose is... <laughs> I'll never understand Papoose, bro. He's talented, but he's different. Uh, Young Thug and uh, his part... I forget the guy's name. Which Who was on trial with him today? Yeah, Gotti was on trial with him today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they wore spider. I guess you can wear anything to court. They wore spider jackets, spider leather jackets, maybe to boost sales. I don't know what's going on, but they uh, they wore these in court today. They're just trying to wear these guys down, basically, and uh, have them be happy with getting probation because that's what they're going to get after two. They're going to be in there for two years. I think. I think they've been in there for two years now. One more year, they're going to be like, time served, 10 years probation. That's what they're going to get. Uh, looks like Insane Clown Posse is going to be doing a podcast with WAC 100, which will be very interesting. Snoop Dogg buries his brother. I think it's his half-brother. And he wears red to the funeral, even though he's a crip. I guess out of respect. Anyways. Oh, yeah, Caesar Pina. He's wanted because him and his wife didn't comply with uh, the the they 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 they're supposed to be cooperating, handing over documents, and they haven't. This is gonna get messy with DJ Envy and Caesar Pina. I can't wait because they they did some underhanded stuff to people who just wanted to get ahead in life. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.